So if this was happening to your loved one, you would not be okay with it. Nobody ever wants to record anything like this. Nobody wants to put this on YouTube. This is for accountability. You shouldn't put me in this position. George and I were informed by a deputy yesterday from Levy County Sheriff that our lives are in danger. We got an email, we shared a phone call. Now we gotta get all this information back to the office. We're headed there right now. Talk to the lieutenant who sent all this stuff to us. See if we can get some answers. Hi, is Lieutenant Tumenden? Okay, is Jeremy Hales looking for him in reference to an email he had sent to me yesterday about a death threat? Just have a seat. Okay. Got your email yesterday in the mm -hmm. town hall meeting. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant Johnson. How you doing? Doing good. How are you, buddy? Oh, uh, outstanding. Okay, so I got this and I replied right here to his email. Mm -hmm. And this is a copy of the email that I sent him right here. Basically, it just said, what information do you have in regards to this? Mm -hmm. That's Lieutenant Tummins, and he gets all this information and emails coming in, one of a few. He's also the deputy that was first on scene when George and I first got back into Florida, and we were stalked to the Levy County Sheriff's Station. He's the one, as I went to go to protect my vehicle and my trailer, after they mentioned that they were going to put trackers on us and put nails under all of our tires, who told me to stay back as Lynette drove and parked right next to everything. And what happened to Lynette and Crook in regards to that? Absolutely nothing. This is the very lengthy email that okay. he sent me. Okay. okay. And at the bottom he sends he sends his number. Okay. okay. So in regards to that, I did contact him and I and I phone called him. Mm -hmm. That is all right here. So a couple different things. Number one are you guys taking this as a credible, is this a credible threat towards me? Are you tr I, You knew what I okay. know when I delivered the email okay. to you through Lieutenant Polo. Okay. So. And he says it was for your ears only in the email that yeah, came to and us. Yeah, came to you, which is very odd. And, and I have the video of our conversation here, which I think you're gonna find odd as well. And yet at the same time, I, I question him on things, such as he says he's in Hong Kong, and the number, the number I called is in Hong Kong. Um, he mentions uh, uh, JoJo's Indian Cuisine Restaurant. It exists. It, it, that's legitimate. I ask him, what time is it in Hong Kong right now? He says 6.15 a.m. He's right. You know, there's different things that line up and go, okay, this is, this is credible, and there's other things where I'm going, man, this guy's as crazy as Lynette or John Crook. So... What I'm doing, I came last night, but the office was closed, and I figured I would just talk to you since you sent it to me, is give you so the just, communication. Just, just for, for clarity yep. of your record and for ours, that email was sent through a contact us okay. through our webpage, okay. and there's only a couple of recipients, as you can see in the, in the recipient line, that get that. Okay, and you're one of them. I'm yep. one of them, and I am the primary manager of this particular email address because they come to me yep. most you know, hey, I'm looking to get a job, or hey, you know. And this is whatever. an odd one. Whatever. This is an odd one. Well, I mean, the way it was written, I, I thought it was very unique, the way that it was written, the style of the writing, yes. and the actionable information, that's usually a military term, all that kind of stuff, but it he's, was for years, years only, so. And he claims he's a nom, a nom vet in okay. Hong Kong. So basically, I, I guess where I'm at now is, so you got the information to me. Mm -hmm. you, you haven't. You, I, I don't know what your process is, whether it's a credible threat or not. But what I'm, what I want to give you guys is the information from the email and the phone call for you guys to say, well, yes, it is, or no, it's not. First question: Did you notice notice him that you were recording that call? He knows. For, but but first answer doesn't matter. He's in Hong Kong, so we're not in a we're not in a two party consent. He's okay. he's in a communist country. It doesn't matter. Okay, so it does not matter, but he does know that I did record it. He does know that it's going to be up on YouTube. He does know that I'm bringing it to you. I okay. mentioned that, and you're going to see it all that in here. Okay. Okay, so yes. Okay. Other questions you might have in regards to it? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of defer 
my normal scope of duties here does not include conducting criminal investigations. So I'm going to get Lieutenant Anderson to receive this information from you so that he can get assigned to one of the deputies to start the investigation and probably filter it over to our criminal investigations division, depending on what information. And it's odd. I openly tell you, it's very, very odd. Okay. Very odd. But at the same time, I found there's aspects of credibility and there's aspects of oddities and you know, better safe than sorry sure. in all reality, especially in my position sure. being online. Um, so I can't give this to you, or you'll have him come out and get it. I'm okay. going to go search okay. Lieutenant Anderson out real quick and okay. let him receive that from you. Okay. And I'm not refusing to take it. It's just not, it's not my normal position. scope of my, yeah. I get it, I get it 100%. And it's so. very weird. It's very weird. I, didn't do, I have another weird question for you. Okay. I, I received no phone call in regards to the email. Nobody showed up at my properties, but a deputy knew that I was at the, the community uh, meeting. How would you guys even know? I received the information that was where you were at. Lieutenant Polo was standing there. I said, hey, would you mind hey, delivering yeah. this to him? So everybody just knew where I was. I don't know if that's concerning for me or if that's comforting for me, but can you understand in my position? Here's what I think happened. George and I show up to the meeting. It is the county meeting with the commissioners. Two of those commissioners are kin or family to Russ the Sus, his son and his cousin. We show up at 8.30. Meeting starts at 9. Immediately, they're on the phone letting Beecham, who is the second in charge over at the Levy County Sheriff's Station, uh, or others know. Now, this is just all speculation. It's my opinion, and I may be completely wrong, but I think I've got it quite down to exactly what happened. Commissioners, whether it was Rocky, whether it was John, then going to the sheriff, uh-oh, YouTuber, what the hails is here? Jeremy and Georgia here, do something! And there were deputies that were at that meeting. But that doesn't mean they had that information and then they go, oh, Jeremy Hales is at this meeting. Like, who in the world is out there texting everybody, all the sheriff deputies going, Jeremy Hales is here, Jeremy Hales is here, Jeremy Hales is here. You know, I've got all these things going on, which I'm sure you're aware of with my, with my neighbors stalking. Levy County Sheriff deputies aren't arresting them every time they violate orders. You know, and I'm in a position of going, Amanda Martin's own son who's married to Tom here, he, he assaults me and I'm in a position going, who do I trust? Who do I even trust? Okay. And so I'm in a position of, do I trust even the Levy County deputies? Which I want to. And then I'm in a position where an email is sent to me and how in the world do they know where I'm at? I didn't even get a phone call. I didn't even, nobody came to my properties and I'm going, all right, is this a good thing they're keeping tabs and they know where I'm at for my safety and protection? Is this a bad thing that they're keeping tabs and know where I'm at? So I'm, I'm in that position too of going, okay, I'm getting all this garbage. I got stalking neighbors. And the deputies aren't arresting, and I don't know what's going on. You're asking me to answer a question I it's get impossible it. for me to answer. I'm just sharing with you openly of going, well, it's, how it's, did they it's know YouTube where I content. was? It's YouTube content. That's what you're creating right now is YouTube no, content. No, no, I'm not creating. This is not going to show up on YouTube? This right? will be on YouTube. Okay, but then it's YouTube life. content. <laughs> okay, no, this has <laughs> nothing to do with YouTube content. Let me okay. make this very, very clear. Okay. This is my life, and I have to film my life for accountability and what's happening in my life and for Understood. people not doing what they're supposed to do, such as the Levy County deputies not arresting John Crook and Lynette when they're at a town hall meeting for an hour and a half breaking a civil protection order that Levy County Sheriff and the Attorney General will not enforce this is not something i want on youtube You're this is nothing i want on okay. youtube i don't want this on youtube i don't want this on youtube i want to live my life in peace and do what i want to do without being in fear of my life okay. so i want to be very clear on that because i don't like how you just re represented that to me that this is youtube content this is an aspect that i have to film this with you people for accountability i shouldn't be in that position i should be able to trust you Unequivocally, okay. I should be able to trust well, you. Well, trust this, that okay. I'm going to walk through that door, and okay. I'm going to search out Lieutenant Anderson, let him okay. know that you're here, and you wish to file a complaint that needs to be investigated. Okay, I do appreciate that. Can you tell me who told you where I was yesterday? My undersheriff did. Okay, who is? Brett Beecham. Beecham knew. Okay. How he knew that you were there, you'd have to I, ask that question to him. Understandable. Okay, all right, appreciate it, Scott. Sure. And I, I, I want to clarify. I don't ever want to have to film anything here again. As if things aren't stressful enough being stalked by neighbors who have threatened my life, who have threatened Georgia's life, who have harassed us 
actually, and you can put an S before that, constantly talking about shoving things up our rectums, making defamation statements all over the internet with others, not to mention you've got individuals that have to tell police authorities where they are no matter what, and they're putting my address out there, my daughter's address is out there. I have paid over $100,000 so far to make this mess disappear so I never have to do anything again. I've sent cease and desist. I got civil protection orders in Ohio. I'm in court in Florida. How in the world does this man have the nerve to say, oh, you're doing this for YouTube? Who in their right mind spends $100,000 to put it up on YouTube because they think it's for content, they think it's for money? By the way, guess what? These videos don't make any money because the nature of what the videos are about. This is all about accountability, and now it's about accountability with him. What deputy who affirms that they are there to serve and protect makes snide remarks saying, oh, you know what, you're just doing this for content. Not okay, even if he's thinking it, not okay that it comes out of his mouth. And it just proves that I have to film every single interaction with these people. Now, I want you to understand, I'm already stressed out beyond belief, all right? And there's already a tremendous amount of things on my shoulders, and he just, the sheriff deputy goes and jabs at me like that? It's about to get heated, but I do want to clarify as well, it is resolved. Now, whether it's resolved just for the camera or whether it's real resolution, Time will tell. The detective that we're gonna be talking to is the detective that actually came out to the ranch after Brian, our neighbor, drunkenly came over, trespassed on our property, then destroyed our property, and created the finger. And guess what happened? Nothing. How are y'all doing? Hey. Have better days, that's for sure. What's going on? Well, let me break it down for you. My card, the case number, I guess lieutenant told me you got somebody threatening your yeah. something, so we went over the case. Yeah. So uh, yesterday, when we were at the town commissioner meeting, we got uh, a piece of paper by one of the deputies. So Scott sent one of the deputies sent this to me, and he said, "Hey, I don't know what it says. I read it, and it says there's a hit out on me." Okay. And so at the bottom of this, and I'll go ahead and give you. You can have all of this. We have copies. At the bottom of that, there's an email address, and so. After that meeting, we had another meeting with our lawyers. We were in the vehicle for a half hour. We went ahead and we emailed that email address and we, we basically said, what information do you have regarding the attached email you sent to the Levy County Sheriff's Department? Well, he responded and that response is, is rather long and, and concerning once you have a chance to read it all. And so, so this is a submission that was sent to us? This is a submission that was sent to you guys. Now, based on what he told us, he's been trying to get a hold of us for three, four weeks. And we get thousands of, of pieces of communication every single day. We can't, we can't respond and we can't read it all. But I guess what he ended up, what he told us on the phone, he ended up going to you guys to try and get to us because he said this was so important of okay. what he overheard. And so... We, we then responded with that we responded email. To him. Yep, we took a picture of this and said, what information do we have? Just right. very simple. And, and trying to discer discern, you know, discern whether this is real, is what, what's going on. He sent this two-page uh, two email that goes into in-depth. And at the bottom, he puts a phone number. That phone number is for Hong Kong. Right. And so at the bottom, last night I go, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure out what in the world is going on. It's getting more and more concerning. And so I do call him yesterday in Hong Kong. That is a Hong Kong number, okay? And he mentions in that email a place called JoJo's Indian Cuisine. I, e I Google that. It is real. It's in Hong Kong. I have the address. It is 100% uh, a real deal, which led me to the point of going, okay, maybe this isn't just another crazy person. Maybe this is a person that's really on to something. Because we get stalked, obviously, by crazies. We have two crazies that stalked us to Otter Creek. And so my, my antennas are always up on what's going on. So I do call him, and it's an international call, and I have that whole call right here on this USB. That's the only thing that's on there. Okay. That, that call will stop at one point. We have this, we're going to make a copy of it. You, it's yours. We have it already. So that will stop at one point because he starts talking about these individuals 
uh, in an inappropriate relationship with children. And, and you'll see me tell her, turn the camera off, turn the, and that's the only reason because the communication is inappropriate. You'll see the camera go back on and you'll see me tell him, listen, I don't want to hear anything else about this inappropriateness with children. That is not what this call is about. This call is about the, 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 the hit or the you. death threat. And you'll see me realign him on there multiple times. All I want to know about is the death threat. All I want to know is about the hit. And I want to be extremely clear. I just shared this with Scott as well. This is not a game for us. This is not about YouTube content. This is our life, which is in danger, whether this is credible, whether it's not credible. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be filming this. I don't want to be stalked. I don't want to have death threats. I don't want crazy neighbors across the street from me who have threatened my life and nothing has happened. I don't want to be in a position where I go, who can I trust, who, I, who can't I trust? I have a judge in Levy County who has taken away my right to protect myself and those I love. Mm -hmm. I don't even have a firearm right now. I have neighbors across the street who are pointing guns at me and you guys did nothing about it. And so I'm in this position of my only protection is that camera right there. Right. And so this isn't about YouTube. This isn't about creating content. I want to go live my life peacefully and have fun and laugh and enjoy life instead of being stressed out all the time and having health issues because of all of this. Please understand this is not a game. Please understand this has nothing to do about YouTube content. This has nothing to do about making money. This is our life. And we right. don't know whether this is a credible threat or not. I understand. And you're going to see on the video, in here he says Mrs. Nasty or Miss Nasty Lady or something like that. On the video, I make him clarify who is that. He says Lynette Michelle. And so whether it's credible or not, John Crook has already stated with Victoria Munsell, which Victoria Munsell lives in California. You're not going to see it on camera, but Victoria Munsell's information is with the Levy County Sheriff's Station. And yeah, she's stated all these things. She's done all these things. And right now, she still thinks, you know what? I'm getting away with this because I haven't gotten any legal paperwork yet. Marla Hughes still thinks, yeah, I'm getting away with this because I haven't gotten any paperwork yet. You know what? Lynette thinks she's getting away with it. I haven't gotten any paperwork yet. Except yesterday, Lynette and John Crook got served with federal court lawsuit. They didn't see that one coming. And I guarantee you, Victoria Munsell, Marla Hughes are guilty of things as well. And it is coming. And they keep adding on to it. And others as well. And the funny thing is, is they think with fake profiles, they can get away with things. Everything has an IP address and everything is trackable. Uh, they have both stated that they're going to put all of our information on the black web and they're going to attack us in every way they possibly can on the black web. This Victoria Munsell? And his? She's in California, and we can give you all of her address and all of her information, and then John Cook, who we call Crook, to actually protect his identity online. But The man that we have permanent we have civil, civil protection, protection order orders against. And Judge DeThomasis has seen all of this, what he said he's going to do on the black web. So whether this is... I don't know. I don't know what to think. So when you listen to the phone calls, which are recorded, uh, part of me is going, is this real? And the other half of me is going, I'm testing him with questions to make sure it's real. Like, what time is it right now? And knowing it's 6.15 in, in Hong Kong, and he's 6.15. Okay. All right. And I, I forget the other questions I asked him, but I'm trying to you know, verify whether this guy is just crazy or whether this guy is just real. Half of me is going, he's crazy. Half of me is going, this is real. Right. And so at, at what point do I go, who do I go all to? All that conversation is kept It's all there. there. It's all there. And I want to clarify, the only reason why it shuts off, you'll see me in the first video tell her, turn it off, is because he's talking about inappropriate, intimate relationships with children by two of these hitmen. And, and, and I, I tell her, shut it off. I don't even want to hear that. I don't want to be a part of that. I don't want to hear that disgusting stuff. And then we turn it back on, and I, I redirect him. Only stay on the hit, the life-threatening stuff. That is all I'm calling for. Does he say where the alleged hitmen are from? Yes. Six of them, he says, are Pakistani. Or Pakistani. Or six or two? Six are Pakistani, and two are Canadian. And it... it, it The best thing you can do is listen. Now, at the I very end, I also qualify questions with, are you on any medications that would alter 
you know, your mind hallucinations, anything. And he says, no, I'm, I'm only a diabetic. And then I ask him, have you ever had any mental issues? Have you ever been diagnosed with any mental issues, anything along those lines? He's, and, he, and he jokingly goes, no, 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 and then he goes, no, nothing like that. I don't know what to do about it. You got his number, you got his email. I'll document, you came in, do okay. a report. I'll get with uh, Lieutenant Ryan over investigations. We'll get a detective on it and we'll listen to the phone calls ourselves and we'll go from there and see what, which route we take it from here. It's probably handled probably by investigator, I'm guessing. Uh, but until we read this and go through the phone calls and make a plan how we're gonna proceed from here. Okay, and can you give me a call back? I mean, can I get follow up on? And my biggest concern right now is I'm in court here in Florida in Levy County, and Judge Thomas has just put a temporary injunction on me, taking away my firearms to protect myself, mm -hmm. and I get death threats every day mm -hmm. by my neighbors who I have civil protection orders on, and so I don't, and I don't even have a temporary injunction based on anything I've done. It's based on what Lynette Preston has said that my lawyer said he tried to bribe her, and he took my firearms away. And so what position does that leave me in right now when I get death threats every day, I get stalkers, I get cr people so crazy they move in across the street from me begging for money, and now you add all this on top of it as well. This is not a game, this is not for YouTube. This is accountability, and I'm sick and tired of it. Give us, give us a day or so and let us pour through it and listen to phone calls and you know, see where we go from here. You got my uh, card, case number. And we'll get back with you. Today's Wednesday. Probably hear from us maybe tomorrow or Friday at latest. Kind of let you know where we're going with it. Okay. All right. Anything else? Just sorry, please. don't do it. But we'll again, we'll just keep me in. We'll do. Keep me in to help you. Okay. I got loved ones that need protected. I understand. And then I've got him coming out here saying you're doing it for YouTube content, and I don't appreciate that. Okay. If this was happening in your life, you would not be okay with it. So if this was happening to your loved one, you would not be okay with it. Nobody ever wants to record anything like this. Nobody wants to put this on YouTube. This is for accountability. You shouldn't put me in this position. I, I have not, and I'm sorry. I'm so tired of this. This all needs to end, and you guys need to do your job and go arrest those two when they violate the civil protection orders and protect us. That's your job. And we're open up to all of this now. I can't believe it. Please do something. We'll be in touch. Please do something. We are taking this email serious, and we appreciate you guys taking it serious. And we, we want about. this investigated, and we want to get to the bottom line because it connects back to our stalking neighbors. Which is exactly why that I had that email delivered to y'all based on the content of the email. So my question is, if we weren't at the county commissioner's meeting yesterday, how would that email have been handled? We would have found a way to get it to you. We just happened to know that you were there. Actually, the undersheriff knew that you were at the county commission meeting. How he knew, I don't know, but the opportunity presented itself, and we made it happen. I just okay. found out email, so I didn't, I didn't know I'm about sure. It. I'm sure. So I just we threw you. Out. We threw you in it, and okay. just we're beyond stressed. I this is beyond ridiculous. These two should have been arrested the very first day we got back in Florida, and they stalked us here to the sheriff's station. Period. They did. Well, when you were here when here. they showed you up. You went out there and made them move. And here we are today, I don't even have a right, I don't have a right to protect myself right now. And Not based on anything I've done, based on what she's lied and said my lawyer did. Mm -hmm. When's your next court hearing? That's a good question. Don't it's a stay we right now, I'm suing her in federal court for extra, ex, extortion, extortion and perjury and you name it. These are mentally and unstable frankly, people. The state's going to be involved in this and so is the Levy County Sheriff for not enforcing. And I'm tired of it. I'm so tired of it. Please Understand. take it seriously. Understand. Please do yeah. and enforce what you guys are supposed to do. And please don't make fun of it. This is real life. I, this is I not about you. YouTube. This I is not about money. money. This is real life. And my life could end. And her life can end. And my employees' lives can end. This is not a joke. Nobody wants to be involved in this. We don't want to be involved in this. And you have the audacity to... I heard you. I heard please. You and I apologize. I accept your apology. Now shake my hand like a man. I'll, I'll do Please that. don't ever do that again. I'm sorry. I'll I don't you. want this on YouTube. Okay. I'll, you. I'll be in contact. Thank you. Give me a day or so All right. with, with a detective. We'll figure All out right. a plan how we're going to go forward. All right. Thank okay? you. Thank right. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am.
the most powerful weapon we have right now to protect ourselves isn't a firearm, it's a camera. And it's accountability. It's accountability for our neighbors. It's accountability for the judge. It's accountability for even these deputies. And while I want to trust that they're not part of this old boy network that covers everything up for one another, uh, while I want to trust that they seriously take their oath to, to protect and to serve as, as their, their mission in life, I haven't seen any action of that yet. And hopefully this is a turning point to where they actually do take action and the right thing is done by all.